Now that we've spent some time talking about the basic way to send email using PHP, I want us to graduate to a much better, much more robust way of handling it, and that is SMTP. That stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So it's a nice and simple way to send email across the internet. In fact, it's the backbone of email on the internet. Basically, SMTP servers grab an email as it comes in, figure out where it should go next, and pass it along the chain to another SMTP server, which does the same thing until it finally gets to your ISP, who says, oh, this belongs in this user's account. It then puts the message into your inbox, waiting for you to log in and retrieve it. But there could be many SMTP servers along the way. What we want to do is log directly into an SMTP server to start the process. We're going to skip send mail completely, which is just a little program on our computer that does a connection to an SMTP server. Instead, we're going to bypass send mail and go straight to the beginning of the online internet chain. And to do that, we need to log into an SMTP server. So we'll need to get some information before we can do that. We'll need to know the server or the host name. We'll need to know what port it's on. We'll need to know, does it use authentication or not? That's whether it requires a username and a password in order to send. I'd say the majority of SMTP servers do require that because that's one way to keep spam down, to make sure that the person actually has a username and a password. And if so, then of course we'll need the username and the password. So the best way to find an SMTP server is to use your existing ISP's SMTP server. If you already have an email account, then you have an SMTP server. That's how you're able to send email from your account. So whenever your computer mail application logs into the server to send email, that's what it's doing. It's connecting. And that same server information, port information, and authentication information is exactly the same thing you'll use. Probably the server will look something like SMTP dot and then whatever your ISP's name is. Or maybe it's called mail dot and the domain name or outgoing dot and whatever the domain name is. The port will typically be 25 for sending that out, but it's always possible that your ISP has put it on a different port, and so if 25 doesn't work, you can always ask them. And then on authentication, username and password is how you log into that server to be able to send email. Again, you can check with your ISP for all of these values. Now, another option is to actually set up an SMTP server on your own computer. And if you're adventurous, you might want to go ahead and try and download some software and set your own computer up as an SMTP server. But I think by far and away the easiest thing is going to be to find an existing one that's already out there that you have access to. And one advantage to using an SMTP server directly is it helps to prove that we're not a spammer. And that helps us get past some spam filters. Because if we authenticate it and we have a username and a password, we can say, yes, we belong on this ISP. We're a good law-abiding citizen of the community. Please forward my email without any problems. And they can trust that you're probably not a spammer because they can trace it back to you through the headers they can know where the email came from. So it does help to get past those spam filters if we're able to use SMTP. And the last tip that I want to give you is that once you have this SMTP server info, if you find that you're having any problems in PHP making it work, the best advice is to go into an email program, plug those same values in, and try and send email. Because that's exactly the same process that it uses. So if your email program can send using those configuration options, then your PHP ought to be able to too. So that's the first thing you should try when troubleshooting, is just go to your email program, create a new account if you have to, try sending out on that SMTP connection, and if it works, then come back to PHP and try and figure out why it's not working there. Now it's possible for us to write PHP code that will allow us to connect to an SMTP server. But fortunately for us, we don't have to, because there's a really great third-party product out there called PHP Mailer that'll make the process very painless. 